to make the little sled, I started with my paper folded and I drew a rectangle to start with, like this. Then for the handle, I drew a straight line out and curved back around. For the bottom part of the sled, I drew a slanted line out and a slanted line, not quite as much in the front, and then drew a straight line across for the bottom. Then I drew a space in between, and this is the space I cut out. And I'll show you on this one where I cut out. And here, where I put the dotted line, is where I folded so that the sled would sit upright like this. And then to make the holes, I used a hole puncher so I could put string in the sled. Now to make the person, I again folded the paper so that when I cut these things out, they're just alike. And I started with a rectangle for the back, and then a small rectangle here, and right here I'm gonna put a double line there. That's where I'm gonna fold it under, because this is a little tab if you wanna glue the person down. And where I put a dotted line here, that's where it's gonna fold. For the head, I drew a circle. <laughs> then for the bottom part, I drew a line out like this all the way. And then for the front, I drew another kind of L shape till I get to the end of the leg, curve up, and that makes the foot. Then I drew a little line for the pants leg. Then for the arm, I started with an upside down U, and then I just drew some little kind of curved lines till I got to where I wanted to draw the hand. To make the little mitten, I made a little circle out like that, and then a round U shape for the bottom of the mitten. Then I drew a little space off for the hat and made an eye. Then when I cut it out, <coughs> I have, it looks like this. This is where I fold this down and fold this together. And I glued the feet together like this. And then if you want to make it stationary, you can put glue here. So this won't happen so that it won't fall off and I put some strain through so it could be pulled. Thanks for watching. Remember to always be kind and please click the subscribe button.